Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good. And it's Fahad from PixelRoms.com. And today I am back with another amazing video for our Redmi Note 10 Pro users. And this time I am back with a Color OS ROM. Today in this video I will be showing you how you can install the Color OS uh, a port from OnePlus devices on our Redmi Note 10 Pro. As you can see here, this is a port from the OnePlus 9R and uh, this is the all the way latest color os 13.0 and as you can see here it is showing the official version but it is not and uh, from the android version you can check it is based on android 13 and security patch of this rom is 5 february 2023 and this is ported by mulham and uh, let me show you other details let's go to version you can also check the build version and kernel version so here we have the other details like model battery capacity you can also extend the ram as you can see here and uh, as you can see here these options are available and this is the port from the oneplus 9r and this one is the color os for our redmi note 10 pro so in this video i will be showing you its short review and i will also tell you how you can install it on your redmi note 10 pro and i will also tell you if it is stable for daily usage or not and as you can see here it is pretty much stable and smooth the animations are pretty much sick it is just opening the applications pretty much quickly as you can see here so without any further ado let's get started so as you can see here the always on display is also working so this is the color os and first of all let's start from the performance of this rom the performance of this rom is pretty much quickly as you can see here the animations are also played very smoothly and there is no any lag in the animations as you can see here and if we talk about the camera here we have the google camera right here as you can see here you can use the camera and you can also uh, switch to the options and you can also uh, move to 2x or 1x and here we, here we also have the video mode from here you can change the frame rates you can also switch to the 4k let's see and if it uh, and this one is just working fine and you can all simply use the uh, full hd for 60 fps it just stopped working let's open it again this is the only issue i have faced in this room the camera sometimes the camera crashes without any warning or without any reason and here we have slow motion option right here but slow motion option doesn't works it just automatically crashes if you switch to the slow motion let's go back to the video and time lapse and normal video mode is just working fine and now time lapse is also not working so the camera application from this rom is not that stable but still i have to give my review on it let's open it up here we have the portrait mode night sight which is working fine then we have the modes in the modes here we have panorama and photosphere and if you want uh, the camera uh, if you want the fully working camera application then you can go for an open camera or gcam go build from the play store and by the way uh, here we have the geekman scores let me show you the geekman score from the screenshot as you can see here it just scored 734 on single core and it scored 1819 on multi core these scores are pretty much insane and it just crossed the other custom roms as well so the scores are pretty much impressive and the animations are also pretty much beautiful and smooth isn't it so you can also install the play store uh, by default there is no any play store in this rom but you just have to download the apk uh, of play store from the link in the description and install it like a normal apk and the play store will be available to be used you just have to log into your google id and you can start using the play store and in the system applications here we have notes music contact hey tab cloud phone manager and smart home and in the phone manager let's see what options we have right here here we have the virus cleaner and other optimization options and uh, here we have the jana tube but it doesn't work so i don't know why here we have tools then we have clone phone so from the left you can access the uh, quick options which is also known as the quick feed or maybe something like this and uh, the quick settings of this rom looks like this as you can see here it is it feels pretty much smooth 
on a Xiaomi device and now let's go to the settings and in settings here we have a lot of options like wallpaper and style and home screen and lock screen display and brightness sound and vibration and all other options and in the security options here we have all options available like face unlock is available fingerprint is also available and lock screen passwords are also available in this room so no need to be worried about the security so the installation of this rom is pretty much simple you just need to download the rom and custom kernel from the link in the description and just reboot your device into install twrp recovery just power off your device and then press and hold power button plus volume up button to reboot your redmi note 10 pro into the twrp recovery So as you can see here it is showing the McLaren logo so clean flash is recommended to install this ROM so after going into the recovery go to wipe click on advanced wipe and select everything except the internal storage and SD card and just wipe right from here after wiping go to install and flash the uh, downloaded color OS ROM like normal custom ROM and after flashing the ROM just go back to home click on reboot and click on system and the system will look like this it will show the McLaren boot animation so after booting up for the first time just simply power off your device simply power off your device and just simply download uh, the kernel from the link in the description just download the kernel zip file and store it into your redmi note 10 pro and just press and hold power button plus volume up button to reboot it again into the twrp recovery Be because the installation is not uh, yet completed So after going into the TWRP recovery, go to install and flash the downloaded kernel zip file which is the Agishna OSS. Just click on it and flash it right from here. After flashing it out, go back to home. I am not going to install it again. So that is why I am not flashing these files again. Just click on reboot and click on system. This time your ROM is completely uh, able to use and you can also download the Google Play Store APK file and install it out to download the applications. So this is the video for today. Let me show you by going into the settings. Scroll down about device and as you can see here this is the color OS 13.0 based on Android 13 and uh, as you can see here you can also extend the RAM by 2 GB, 4 GB or 6 GB. So here we go so you can simply install the play store log into your google id and download and install any application so i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates and if you have any question or queries about this video let me know in the comment section and you can also join us on the telegram telegram group and channel link is also available in the description box keep supporting thanks for watching peace